Good day, this is another, another lecture. Hatid sa inyo ng MC Squared Coaching Center and part 13 na po tayo ng Frequently Asked Questions sa Mathematics ng Civil Service Exam. So, I'm Engineer Melvin Jan Habla Banzuelo, CIS. By the way, maraming nagtatanong ano po daw yung CIS. CIS po is Certified Investment Solicitor and I license po na license po na nire-renew namin or nimi-maintain po natin namin sa Securities and Exchange Commission. So, kami po yung mga knowledgeable po sa investment, especially stock market or mutual funds. Okay? So, again, kasi may nagtanong lang one of my videos, ano po daw yung CIS ko po sa, sa name ko po. Okay? So, simula na po natin itong part 13 ng lecture natin ng Civil Service Exam Mathematics in the Philippines. So, problem number one, if a handbag is priced at 10,000 pesos and is sold at 8,000 pesos, then the percent discount is. So, the discount is the original price minus the discounted price that is the 8,000 pesos. So, 10,000 minus 8,000, the discount is 2,000 pesos. The amount discounted is 2,000 pesos. And ang tanong is the percent discount. So, therefore, the percent discount is the discounted price or the, um, the, the amount of discount over the, the original price. So, therefore, 2,000 over the 10,000 times 100, that is 20% discount. And that is letter, letter D. 20% or 0 0.20. Problem number two, if 30% of A is B, then B% percent of 30 is the same as, is it letter A, 3% of A, letter B, 9% of A, letter C, 30% of A, letter D, none of the above or none of this. So 30% of A, when we say 30%, that is also equivalent in fractional form as 30 over 100. So 30% of A po daw class is 30 over 100 times A equals to B. Okay. Then B% percent of 30, ito po yung B% percent, that is B over 100 represent as B% percent of 30. Usually when we say of, that is multiply, kaya multiply natin sa 30. And remember that itong B na to, okay, itong B na to, equals po siya dito. Okay? Equals po dyan yung B. So, from here, 30 over 100 times A, ito po yung B natin. Okay? 30 over 100 times A, okay, para mas klaro, ito po yung uh, B. B po yan. Okay? And then, Saan galing itong 1 over 100? Kasi B over 100, nilabas ko lang po yung 1 over 100 times 30. Okay? So, ito yung B. Yan, nakalagay po na B. 30 over 100 times A from here. Times 1 over 100 times 30. And then, in order for us to simplify, pasok natin sa 30 dito. Kaya 30 over 100, yan po yan siya. Then, 30 over 100. So, in-move natin si A sa kabila. Okay? And then, if we simplify here, ito, divided by 10, divided by 10, 3 over 10, divided by 10, divided by 10, that is 3 over 10. And if we multiply this, 9, 3 times 3, that is 9, 10 times 10, that is 100. So, 9 over 100A, or when ganito yung nakikita natin, that is automatically 9%. So, therefore, that is 9% of 9% of A. And, ayun, nasa choices. Swerte tayo nakita ko kaagal sa choices. That is letter, letter B. Problem number 3. The average age of Melvin, Chicks, and Cloud 3 years ago was 27 years. And that of Chicks and Cloud 5 years ago was 20 years. The present age of Melvin is, is it letter A, 35 years? Letter B, 40 years. Letter C, 50 years. Letter D, none of these. Remember, ang tanong po sa problem, present age. Okay? Present age po yung tanong. Okay? Ang nasa, ang, ang nasa problem, puro pass. So, sabi natin, the average age of Melvin, Chicks, and Cloud. That is tatlo tayo, di ba? So, parang age ni Melvin, age ni Chicks, tsaka age ni Cloud divided by 3 equals 27. But take note of the 3 years ago. 
Itong 3 years ago, magsasubtract tayo ng 3. Okay? Subtract tayo ng 3 sa edad ni Melvin. Subtract tayo ng 3 sa edad ni Chicks. And then, subtract tayo ng 3 sa edad ni Cloud. Ganon din sa kabila. Subtract tayo ng 5 kasi 5 years ago daw. 5 years ago. So, subtract ka ng 5 sa age ni, ni Chicks. And then, subtract ka ng 5 sa age ni ni Cloud. Okay. So, ayun na yun siya. Tandaan natin. So, paatras tayo 3 years ago. So, the sum of the present ages, present, okay, of Melvin, Chicks, and Cloud, and the average is 27, since tatlo tayo, uh, tatlo, tatlo yung, ano natin tao, Melvin, Chicks, and Cloud, 3. So, therefore, that is 27 times 3. In the past, yan siya. So, in the past, so that is 27 times 3. Ang sagot po yung 27 times 3 is, ano, that is 80, 81. Okay, 81 po siya. So, ito yung sum of ages ng tatlo, 3 years ago. Okay, 3 years ago. And then, Para makuha natin yung present, i-add natin yung binawas sa kada isang tao na minus 3 kay Melvin, minus 3 kay Chicks, and minus 3 kay Cloud. I-add natin para makuha natin yung sum of the present ages. Kaya we have here 3 times 3. Okay? Yung 3 represent Melvin, Chicks, and Cloud. And ang, ang 3 na to represents as the number of years na nabawas. Okay? So, that is, yung 3 times 3 na yan, that is what? That is 9. Okay, 9 po yan. So, 81 plus 9, then the present ages of Melvin, Chicks, and Cloud is 90 years. Yan yung total age nilang tatlo sa present. Now, another statement here na i-consider natin is yung age ni Chicks and the Cloud 5 years ago. Yung average age nila is 20 years nilang dalawa. So, therefore, the sum of the present ages of Chicks and Cloud Present, 20 times 2. Ito yung average ng age nilang dalawa 5 years ago. So, sa past, 20 times 2, 40 yung total, yung sum of ages ni Chicks and ni Cloud. Sa past, sa 5 years ago. Since i-consider natin yung binawas natin para makuha natin yung present age nila, i-add natin yun sa, sa, sa sum ng past age nila. So, ito yung past age nila 5 years ago. So, therefore, plus 5 times 2. Itong 2 represent as sa dalawang tao na Chicks and Melvin, itong 5, ito yung nabawas sa 5 years ago. So, kaya 20 times 2 plus 5 times 2, so that is, ito siya, that is 10, ah no, that is 40. 40 po yan, and then it, ito plus, ito siya, that is 10. So, therefore, the, the sum of the present ages of Chicks and Cloud present nila is 50. And since sa original, sa ang sum of present ages ng tatlo is 90 at ng dalawa is 50, so therefore, makuha na natin yung age ng isa na si Melvin. So, 90 minus 50, yung present age now ni Melvin is letter B that is 40 years old. Okay? So, 40 years old. So, kung medyo na... I hope klaro po yung solution ko. If pero medyo nakakalito po yung solution, uh, pwede nyo po akong i-message sa Facebook or sa Messenger para ibigay ko po yung, yung solution na may equation. So, meron kasing iba na, na gusto yung equations. So, gusto yung mas mahabang time makonsume ng pagsusolve sa problem. Okay? So, makakalain ng iba na hindi ako marunong gumawa ng mathematical equation. Kasi may nag-comment one time, Sir, bakit puro multiplication, division, subtraction, and addition yung mga solution ninyo? Because, bakit ganun yung mga solutions? Pa, tinuturo ko po dito the simplest way or the shortest time para makuha po natin yung correct answer sa isang multiple choice questions. Okay? Thank you for watching. Do not forget to click subscribe and share also sa iba. Okay? So, click subscribe para every time meron akong i-upload na videos, ma-notify -not kayo ni YouTube na may na-upload na new videos. And i-share po natin para makatulong naman po sa iba sa nanahirapan sa mathematics. Again, 
So, next topic natin is part 14. So, abang-abang lang, mag-upload lang po ako ng new videos. And that is the Mathematics Practically Asked Questions part 14 na, na lecture. Again, thank you and have a nice day.